Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Dear students of class 4, English version, Mandarwan Cantonment Public School and College, welcome to today's online class. I'm Muhammad Habibullah, Imam and Assistant Teacher, Mandarwan Cantonment Public School and College. Dear students, today I'm going to take a class on the subject Islam and Moral Education on the topic Quran Majid. Dear students, this is the second class on chapter 4. So let's start the class. Dear students, you will know by the class, inshallah. You can tell what is Tajweed and some rules of Tajweed. And you can recite the Surah Nasr, Surah Lahab, and Surah Ikhlas, inshallah. Dear students, please open your book. I opened your textbook. Okay, <clears throat> look at the screen or look at uh, your textbook. Uh, first of all, we should discuss about Tajweed. The first topic is Tajweed. What is Tajweed? Dear students, you know that reciting Quran Majid is very important because without reciting Quran Majid, we cannot offer Salat and many Ibadat in Islam. And reciting Quran Majid correctly is very important. Okay. And there are some rules to read the Holy Quran Majid correctly, and these rules are called Tajweed. Okay, look at the screen. There are some rules to read the Holy Quran correctly, and these rules are called what? Tajweed. Okay. So today we will discuss about some rules of Tajweed. First topic is Makhraj. Okay. Arabic letters are pronounced, uh, pronounced from the different places of the mouth such as throat, tongue, teeth, lips, etc. The place of pronunciation of an Arabic letter is called Makhraj. Okay? So what is Makhraj? The place of pronunciation of an Arabic letter is called Makhraj. Okay? How many Makhraj are there? There are 17 makhrajes for the Arabic letters. Okay. Second topic is idgham. Idgham means two letters which are placed side by side are to be read joining together and this kind of reading is called idgham. Okay. For example, look at the example. Fahum muslimun. Here, first meme and second meme. We are pronouncing uh, two memes together. Okay, it is called idgham. And now izhar. Izhar means to express. Okay, um, it means to pronounce the letter clearly according to the makhraj of the letter. If after noon sakin and thamin there is any of the letters of halki. Then nun sagin and tanmin should be read without gunna and ikfa, but should be read according to makhraj clearly, and this short of reading is called izhar. Okay. Horfe halki uh, is six. Okay. There are six letters of halki, and they are hamza, ha, ain, ha, ghain, ha. Okay. Hamza, ha, ain, ha. Ghain Kha Okay So for example Min Khawfin Min Khawfin Look at the example Kha is uh, Izhar Harfe Halki yeah, It came after Nun Sakin So we should pronounce it without Ikhfa and Gunna So we can pronounce it uh, like Min Khawfin Min Khawfin Okay 
So dear students, hope you have understood uh, Idgham well. Now uh, we will recite some surah from the Quran Majid. First surah is Surah and Nasr. Surah and Nasr. I am reciting for you. Please listen to me attentively. Then you uh, you can recite. Okay. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إذا جاء نصر الله والفتح ورأيت الناس يدخلون في دين الله أفواجا فسبح بحمد ربك واستغفر إنه كان توابا صدق الله العظيم Its meaning When the help of Allah and the conquest come and you see that the people enter Allah's religion in crowds so glorify the praises of your Lord and ask his forgiveness really he is the one who is ever accepting the repentance the second surah is surah Allah okay the surah is Makki that means it's revealed on Makkah and it has five ayat okay I'm reciting for you. Please listen to me, and after it, you should recite. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Tabat yada abi lahab wa tab ma aghna anhu maluh wa ma kasab. سيصلى نارا ذات لهب وامرأته حمالة الحطب في جيدها حبل من مسد صدق الله العظيم Dear students, its meaning Fish the true hands of Abu Lahab and perish he, his wealth and his gain will not benefit him. He will be burned in a fire of blazing flames, and his wife too, who carries wood in her neck, is a twist crop of Masad. Dear students, and third surah is. Surah Al-Ikhlas Surah Al-Ikhlas This Surah also Makki and it has four ayats I am reciting for you Please uh, you recite after reciting me Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Qul huwa Allahu ahad الله الصمد لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد صدق الله العظيم its meaning say he is Allah one Allah the self sufficient master he begets not nor was he begotten and there is none co equal or comparable to him. Dear students, I uh, hope you have understood uh, well the class. Now, your homework. Your homework is write Surah class with meaning. Write Surah class with meaning. You can uh, write in english if you cannot write arabic okay so dear students be safe stay at home allah hafiz assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh